Jared Moskowitz went off on the GOP for holding up military promotions because of culture wars. So we're talking about the NDAA <clears throat> while this hearing's going on, supporting our defense, supporting our country, keeping our military superiority uh, over China. It passed 58 to 1 in committee. Bipartisan. How it has always been and how it should be. Except now it's held hostage. It's held hostage over the culture war, right? <clears throat> it's not about defense. It's not about protecting the American people. No, it's about abortion or defending the Confederacy based on amendments that my colleagues have filed. Or it's about books again. We're back to books. Or it's about stopping mitigation to climate change. Anyone right now who's current, currently experiencing record flooding or record heat, <clears throat> they're not worried about defending the country. No, they're worried about stopping mitigation to climate change. <clears throat> the Senate's going to kick all this back to us. They're going to wipe all this culture war nonsense out. And so this is just theater. It's not about defending, defending the country. They're holding up 250 nominees in the Senate to our military. My colleagues across the aisle are doing that. We can't appoint the head of the Marine Corps because of the culture wars. Hasn't happened since 1910. In October, when we're going to see the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff probably retire, nope, we won't be able to appoint that person either, based on this nonsense if it continues.